Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skyfalls. <laughs> oh, I was literally thinking, don't say Skyfalls. What did I say? Skyfalls. Skyfalls, Trifalls and Skylines. Whatever. <laughs> Let's get into it. So, last episode we were doing this area right here. I really love the layout. I hope you guys like it too. I think as it gets bigger and it expands across um, the city, bits like this, the first bit that we built are going to look real good. And uh, they need a lot of work, you know. It takes time to get the ball rolling and to get all the land value increased so we have all the fancy buildings here and uh, do you know what? I think I might make high-tech housing a city-wide thing or is that already a high-tech house? Anyway, <laughs> getting a little distracted what I wanted to show you is this little problem that I've run into the roads as you can see um, I've made this a little bit bigger overall what I want to do is put in I think, oh no actually, I made it one bigger so that the subway stations are kind of in the middle and then there's one extra block there and one extra block there. But we're probably going to add more subway stations. I might start experimenting with something um, new today with the, the transport. But as of right now, we've got a little bit of expansion to do. So I just wanted to show you this. Uh, it refuses to join this road. So, you know, what's the logical thing to do? Destroy that road, have this one come across, connect them like that. Just doesn't want to connect. Whatever I do, it refuses to let me find the right angle to connect these on. So maybe uh, actually what I could do... I don't know why I didn't think of this idea earlier is try and find the middle point. To me, if we were to look at this, <laughs> it's actually really difficult to tell. I think it's that line right there coming across to the middle. I'm trying to keep my eye on that line as I uh, look for another thing. <laughs> there we go. So I reckon it's going to be that bit right there. Uh, if we demolish this, it now might let us connect. What are you going to say now? Oh, wrong road. Aha! And it looks like it's in a perfect straight line. So let's just destroy that. And you'll let me go over here as well. Awesome. And now you can connect to that. Sweet. So we did it. Um, yeah, we've got this like ring road going around the outside. That's going to connect to more housing um, along the back here. And uh, it's just for looks at the moment. I kind of feel like maybe the transport thing in this area isn't going to be so much of a big deal. Because I guess people aren't going to be driving so much. They're going to be walking, aren't they? And that's something else we haven't done. We haven't put any walkways in this city. But if you think about it, because of the layout, let's say you're sort of in this area in the middle and you want to go to that station, then a subway station, then you walk up and across and you're there. And it's kind of direct. It's not like a straight line, but it's direct along the roads. And I think that's probably the same for most places in that city. So anyway, our residential demand is no more because that area is doing so good. So now we have industrial and commercial demand. So we need to zone out some more industry areas. So, co-worker, every time, why do I say co-worker? I don't know that. <laughs> uh, worker shortages. Let's just zone out some of these areas. In fact, let's make sure they're sort of connecting ones so that the power grid connects up. And uh, let's do that for now in that area. We'll let more buildings expand. It takes a while for the workers to get over here. That's something we know. Um, but the problem isn't going away as a whole, which is kind of worrying. So anyway, we're going to do that. One of the things that I uh, would normally do when you're dealing with all of these sort of areas is zone out the actual squares, but I really just can't be bothered. So I'm going to do that. And if we get some of these awkward bits, you know, with edges like that, I'm not even bothered anymore. It's fine. So what one is this? This is oil over here. We've got some abandoned buildings. I tell you what, if we didn't have the abandoned buildings mod, we might see something different happening in the city. I think it would be a good idea to experiment that. And also let's go into the third speed uh, because now it's really just about getting people into the city. And uh, looking at this, the amount of traffic we've got so far, I feel like we'll always be able to accommodate for this because um, all of our workers get here through the metro system, which I think we're going to overhaul. It just doesn't feel like this is working at the moment. So we should definitely give it more time. How's this area doing? Still problems with goods, not quite as many. Just uh, a couple over here, one, two, three. And that's about it. And commercial buildings all the way down here. That's good to see. Our residential expansion would have helped that area grow. Um, but who's to say that those people are coming over here to do some shopping? I think what it might be smart to do at this point is uh, turn off the auto demolition mod and just see what happens. So burned buildings. Uh, wait, how do we tweak those? Okay, there we go. So both of those have been turned off. And this area is expanding as well now, I guess... As our industry expands, so does our residential. And there's, there's the abandoned buildings. As soon as we turn it off, we get a load of them. All right, let's zone out some more over here. I feel like expanding the experiment a bit more. All right, so we'll go for all of that. 
In this area we'll go for that field and that bit. Down here we'll have these two blocks and over here we'll go for all of this. So that's a ton of new land. Then in this area we will expand into these areas and I couldn't think of what to do with those end blocks so just did it like that and then we'll put our residential in these two, our low density ones. Okay, and we also got a bit up the back here to do. So we'll leave it like that now. We'll let it run on fast. And so we'll have more people moving in to work in the industries that are popping up. But these are going to go abandoned as well as they don't get workers. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Well, this paints a very different picture of things. You can see lots of abandoned buildings. But over in this area as well, I knew about the low land value problem here. I didn't realize that people are actually moving out because the auto demolition mod takes care of that. So a park or two over here might solve that. Let's give them something fancy like the plaza. And apparently I can't put it on that side of the road. If we put it on this side, we're going to remove some houses. Unless we put it right there, then we'd only be taking out the one. Ha! Let's do that then. Okay, so all of you should now be happy. Stop moving out of your homes. And what about on this side? Yeah, we're going to have to cut into some of the territory on that side of the road, aren't we? So let's put it right there and take out those two. That one was abandoned, so it should be okay. And there we go. Two plazas on that side. On this side over here, we clearly need um, something more. So maybe if we move that one, uh, we'll be able to fit the plaza in. So relocate over to this side, and then we'll pop back and put the plaza in right there. Awesome. Okay, that should help. Two parks right next to each other over here. Another one that can fit in there. And now you can see the effect is going pretty well. It looks like this area over here could do with something. And I could have swore it wasn't going to remove that, but whatever. Uh, there you go. So just a little area here in the middle. And maybe we could squeeze like a small park somewhere in here. And hopefully now they'll be okay with it. Uh, loads of abandoned buildings in the commercial area as well. So the commercial area is not sustaining itself. The experiment isn't going all too well, is it? That auto demolition mod makes things look a little better than they actually are. So over here, more problems with the low land value. Let's put in another park nearby. Hopefully that'll help. It's not going away straight away, is it? We might end up having to lower taxes. Uh, but these are also high-tech fancy houses as well, so that should at least do something for them. Anyway, let's hope that problem now corrects itself. Let's have a look at the rest of the city. Just uh, abandoned buildings and a lack of workers. I'm not surprised. It feels like... Uh, we can't get them using the subway quite as much, although the oil industry is doing pretty good. So maybe it just needs more time? I don't know. I really don't. Maybe there's different levels of demands as well and that the workers will go uh, to these different areas. But I think it's time for us to try something different. So for all the problems we have, this area right here seems to be just fine. And for that reason, we're going to start uh, expanding it a little bit. You'll see what I'm doing here in a second. I just want to zone out all of these areas quickly. Um, so it can expand as it's pretty full up. Right, so let's leave that. Anyway, I have been observing people going to work over here. Occasionally, there you go, you'll see someone walking like this. So if we click on that, you'll see uh, where it is they work at. Now that says bread and beyond. When you open it, it's usually something different. But what I've observed is when someone's leaving, if you catch it quick, you'll see that the worker amount will go down by one. So it's simulating them, sending people back and forth. We kind of learnt that, but... If you watch it bit by bit, you can kind of understand what's going on. So um, these new places, it feels like hardly anyone is going to the ones with low co-workers, obviously, sort of makes sense. But slowly, bit by bit, more and more of these are becoming a little bit more stable. The amount of workers are steadily going up. It's just very slow and hard to catch people that are heading over there. So not a lot of people are using this one. And uh, I don't really know why. You saw some people heading up over there. That's interesting. They use that one to get there rather than this one over here. I guess maybe it's slightly closer. Uh, but you see quite a few people using this one. So I don't know why it is that they um, prioritise this area over here over the other ones. But I've seen just so many people coming back and forth that it kind of appears like it's working. I mean, we've got one factory here with one worker and every other one is doing fine. So maybe when all of these are fine, then people will eventually start going over here. So although we've got like uh, no population demand, it feels like we actually need to increase the population. So if we open up our uh, vitals meter and have a look, employment is really high. Look at that, 95. So we definitely need more people in the city. However, this thing is at its minimum. So it's kind of confusing. And considering we've got demand for commercial and it's not really working in this area, 
you know something is uh, off balance so anyway what I think I want to do next is expand this and build the other side we're going to mirror this but maybe make it not quite a mirror like a in the opposite direction that the the shapes are going in if that makes sense so yeah we'll uh, we'll do that on this side put a road around it again and then after that we'll be free to expand it and make it look uh, now nah, that's not going to do anything because we zoned out all of this area and there's no expansion so I've been observing as always over here there were no problem bubbles at all a minute ago then all of a sudden co-worker oh, I said it again and raw materials keeps coming up which is interesting so they can get raw materials from over here the ore type but maybe not the other ones if, if enough's not being dropped off here but anyway I've been watching this and not a single train that leaves this place we've got two here so this is a good time to check uh, not a single one drops off over here so we've got two coming through you saw another one just leaving look at that okay that one dropped <laughs> Uh, or stopped even but that one didn't drop anything off it just kept on its way and another one and another one and did three of them just go through in quick succession that was crazy um, and this seems to be a common thing just not enough goods coming out and it's kind of worrying because I don't know how to fix it we've got a station over here we've got a station over there everything should be able to uh, to work together so we're not too many ideas on what to do we're going to break one of the original rules we're going to connect these islands together using roads this could be very bad for traffic because people might stop using public transport even though this road is ridiculous but now I just want to know what will happen when we connect these up so if it will let me make a connection here which it looks like it doesn't want to do can we go over there there we go there's a connection and now we can have trucks sending goods from this area over to that area back and forth and over to the commercial area without any cargo trains which is going to be interesting straight away they're on their way so let's go in there and investigate as to what's happening so where are you going you are going from the box factory right here over to the mega shopping center that is exactly what we want you to do through the cargo trains okay let's have a look at the next one we've got garments limited going over to this new shop by the way uh, to satisfy the commercial demand here added a ring of shops on that side and that side over there as well they're probably going to be temporary right so that's uh, one bit of traffic analyzed we can see that they're going from this place to the other let's have a look at some of the tracks so we've got you from I think that's fine furniture it's a forestry truck oh that's a good thing look it tells us the industry and you're going to this place here that's what we want to see we want to see our goods our raw materials going over to our industry right here so let's have a look at another truck you might actually be from the cargo bay uh, you're an oil truck and you're going to the box factory because we need oil to make boxes just in case you didn't know that <laughs> uh, but that's it look we've clicked on four things and I'll continue to click on stuff but they're all doing exactly what I want them to do through the cargo so maybe we change up the plan here and we actually connect things together and we got a fire that's not good Oh well, you'll burn down and then someone will go in your place and the game will continue. <laughs> Literally how it works. So, if this works and if this improves the situation, what we're going to see is these things disappear. And then when we turn off the demolition mod, we should see that these buildings actually stay because the goods are coming through and they're getting to them. Now obviously there's going to be some more traffic. Uh, but it seems to be fine at the moment. So now it's a case of observation. This won't go away, by the way, this whole low land value. I just don't get it. What is it in this area um, that makes the land value so low? Maybe we should open up a policy. Let's add the smoke detector distribution. That's going to cost us a fair bit of money. Also might stop a few fires. And what else could we do? We could boost parks and recreation in this area, as if it wasn't boosted enough already. Let's click on that. Let's see what happens. This is going to hurt our budget for sure. And apart from that, I'm really not sure what else we can do here to help them. We can low, lower their taxes. That will certainly solve the situation. So no, neither of those things seem to help, but we'll leave it for a while. They're going to cost us money, so we might want to undo them um, if it doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, yeah, so not enough educated workers. That's interesting. Might need a university in the city soon. Not enough goods to sell. Alright, employment is at 95%. Still got this huge demand for commercial and industrial. But if we go over to these areas and we get out of this view, there we go. You see there's no worker shortages problems. And hey, look, I didn't say co-worker. So I think if we've given it enough time, what we'll do this time is just expand slowly. So we'll come over here. We'll do like one small block at a time like that. 
and just wait until they have uh, enough workers. So one over there as well. Actually, I think that's kind of outside the zoning area. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's just about in, so it will be farming. Okay. Um, then over here, let's go for that block and a little bit of space there that's unused. And anywhere else around here, maybe that bit right there. Uh, so we've done all of those three, and then over in this area we'll add some more industry. We could move our entire industry over here. That area up the top isn't so necessary anymore. Um, so for all, let's do that block and this one. This has been a pretty successful looking area as well, so we'll do a little bit more for that one. And um, then down here, let's just fill in these little gaps and bring it along this side with those blocks. So that should be pretty good. And maybe I'm thinking, let's just unzone all of this and get everyone using um, the metro. Why don't we give it a shot? Why don't we unzone like a, a large amount over on this side, considering this is nearer to uh, the two metro stations in this area. Let's unzone all of this. No more industry over here. And then do the equivalent in... The new area. There we go, we've got all of it. So, let's zone that block, that block, all of this on the inside basically. So there we go. And now all of that's going to be the replacement for the industry. So we should, should see that move in fairly quickly. As for this area over here, haven't seen any more of those bubbles, so it feels like the roads have actually solved the problem there. Although we do have some abandoned buildings, they're not being demolished at the moment. But apart from that, like one building here, so we've still got goods coming in from outside, probably goods that we're producing are going through the cargo, but now we've got traffic bringing it in as well on the roads. And it's working, they're definitely going there and it's definitely improved, so it feels like we're going to have to go with these roads. And uh, maybe that's even helping the worker situation as well. Oh, because workers can commute from this area now. Interesting, let's see if we can find some commuters. You look like a police car, you are a police car. There's a van. We get a normal looking car on this side of the road heading in. There we go, that looks normal. Okay, that's actually a van. <laughs> Maybe we won't find anyone. Is that someone walking? No, that's a little box on the side of the road. So maybe not. I'll tell you what, I'll uh, keep my eye on it and see if we can find any commuters. People, no, that's not what I wanted to click on. Uh, leaving the city. Yeah, to come and work in the new area. Well, I found someone, uh, but they're commuting from over here. And look at where they're driving. They're driving along this bridge. Does that mean they've taken the subway to that island and then they've got in their car? Because once they've gone through the subway, they can magically appear, believe me. So you're here. You reside over here. <laughs> and where are you heading to? Over there. Fascinating. So if we go and look at the um, the stops, where are they? The subways, you'll see, yep, there's cars parked around there. A better example would be this one that's completely disconnected. Wherever there is a metro there are cars parked. Do you want to know why? Because people will drive there. If you look for a car in the city, it's probably heading towards the metro. So we've got a lot of parked ones. There's a moving one. I oh, know you're a police car. You're a motor moped? Motorbike? Will you do? Will you be a good example? Let's see where you go. So you're going down here and over there and you're going to the metro, aren't you? Yep, and off you go. So every car is basically heading towards uh, the metro in this area. So this definitely works. A contained residential area means they're all going to use uh, the metro and they're not having any problems. The next thing is just getting these other areas sorted out and we're kind of making progress but now we've got tons of commercial demand so maybe we'll look at building a commercial area somewhere. You know what? The solution is right in front of my face. People just don't want to live here. They're moving out. They're complaining all the time. They don't like the taxes. Low land value. If we actually go and look at the land value again, it's gotten lower. It's actually going white in these areas, which is the lowest it can be. So I'm not surprised. It's just a little bit strange, and I'm not sure why it's been so much of a problem here. But maybe we should repurpose this then and uh, make it all commercial, which doesn't seem like a, a bad idea at this point. Now, this area doesn't have a fire department, and it definitely needs one. So where can we put that? Maybe on the edge of this road? There we go. I think that's going to do it. So that's improved all of this area. Uh, things are going extremely well over here, although a few abandoned buildings, but you can see it's developing nicely. Uh, no problems over here, so let's add yet another area. Just uh, a couple of small bits again like that. And then let's go and look at these ones. No worker problems here. Let's go for those two zones. And raw materials over on this side. Let's just go for those two. And again, one one worker problem right there, so we'll go for those two zones. So things are going good. We're expanding our residential because people are moving in 
over here and so far all I've added are the subways connected them up put routes to the rest of the city and I think what we need to do is uh, just focus on giving this oh why do we have a band no low low land value how can that be how can that be what is it they're short on there's death coverage here maybe it's the lack of a university now people are starting to to want that well I had an idea I had an idea for a university. I think now might be the time to pause and give it a go. I'm going to build a university over on this side. Well, it might not be the prettiest, but it's a cool-looking octagon roundabout thing that isn't actually a roundabout because it's a U-turn. We're going to call it a U-turn. A two-way U-turn. <laughs> it's a road. Uh, let's go and select education and the university. It's about time we put one of these in. And there it is. Enjoy. Enjoy the university. Hopefully that will help with the land value problem. Let's have a look. Wow, people are moving out so fast. <laughs> I don't know what it is I'm doing different from when I last played, but I'm clearly missing something here, and it's not apparent to me what exactly that is. University score is going up. Maybe just some of these demands aren't being met, or maybe it's the whole 150% budget thing isn't quite doing what it should do. Hmm, let's have a look. So what else could we put in this area? I don't know, it all seems good. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blame it on taxes. We're going to turn these down to 10%. Maybe we turn these up too early on and we got away with it for a while. And look at that, straight away you can see uh, some bubbles there. Well, they're saying that some of these things aren't complaining. It's only our uh, residentials. So maybe we'll turn these back up to 11. There we go, that should do it. So I think we're going to wrap things up here with a little bit of a mystery for now. I'm just not sure what's doing it. I mean, all the hints in the game just say you can raise the land value by building parks and removing and pollution nearby. And there's no pollution. There's loads of parks. I mean, when we click on this, the happiness is good. The land value, I mean, it is blue in some areas, but then it's green here as well. So what I've done out is taken some policies across the entire city. All of these things, since they're already in action in those other areas, and also pet ban, smoking ban, smoke detection distributor thing. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, yeah, and I just don't get it. I don't get why these people are moving out. Maybe you guys know. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to repair the situation. And overall things are going sort of okay. Our budget is now diving actually into the negative, which is not good. So we've got to look at some things. I think that 150% was uh, a bad idea. Now we've got issues all over here as well. Uh, none of this is really making too much sense to me at this point. Oh uh, well, I think we're going to wrap things up here. I'll give myself some time to think about it. But that's going to be it for this episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching this video. I have a second channel where you can find additional videos of my Twitch live streams. If you're interested in watching one of my live streams, then come over to Twitch and hit that follow button to be notified of when I go live. And if you're not subscribed over here on YouTube, then feel free to subscribe for more content like this. I also have a creative plot world server, play.assumavoid.com, where you can build on your own plot and join in the fun with our wonderful community. And if you like social media, then you can interact with me on Twitter at assumavoid.com. Links to all the relevant things can be found in the description box below.